hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous videos we discussed about amplitude scaling of continuous time signals so in this video we are going to discuss the same concept but with discrete time signal now we all know that uh, the continuous time signals are converted into discrete time domain signals through a process called sampling okay actually this is the whole process of conversion of analog signal into digital form through the process of sampling quantization and encoding so this is the intermediate stage between analog and digital which is the discrete time domain signal so we'll discuss the amplitude scaling for this discrete time domain signal which we have we have the amplitude axis xn and the discrete time domain n these are the amplitude at different distinct points 1 2 3 at 1 it is 2 at 2 it is 3 and at 3 again it is 2 amplitude now we have to perform the amplitude scaling to xn so the same thing will happen as it uh, was there in the continuous time domain at each of these distinct points we have to multiply the amplitude with the scaling factor here it is the scaling factor is 2 so it is generally amplification that is happening it, if it would have been like xn by 2 it would have been attenuation the amplitude would have decreased but here the amplitude will get amplified it will increase so let us do that uh, time axis this is the jude axis okay so here it will become one two three four five six okay so at one it is two so it will become four at two it is three so it will become six and at three it is two so it will again become four okay four six four here the amplitude was two three two so the amplitude at the distinct points got multiplied by two okay so this is the first question on amplitude scaling of discrete time say. So this is the second question on uh, amplitude scaling of discrete time signal. We have this discrete time signal here and we have to perform amplitude scaling on it. So the scaling operation that we have to perform is this. So here the scaling factor is in fractional form 1 by 2 so here attenuation will occur that is the amplitude will get decreased so again the same approach identify the amplitude at the distinct points here at n equals to 1 discrete time n equals to 1 the amplitude is 2 at n equals to 2 the amplitude is 4 at n equals to 3 the amplitude is 6 scaling factor is 1 by 2 we have to multiply each of these amplitude at distinct time intervals distinct time points with the scaling factor so 1 by 2 into 2 will be 1 1 by 2 into 4 will be 2 and 1 by 2 into 6 will be 3 so this attenuated signal will be this okay one two three one two 
3 so here at n equals to 1 it is 2 so here it will be 1 here at n equals to 2 it is 4 so here it will be 2 n equals to 3 it is 6 here it will be 3 ok just multiply each of these points with the scaling factor this is xn by 2 ok so this is the second question so this is the third question that we'll discuss here so we have the discrete time signal and uh, the amplitude at the different points discrete uh, the discrete distinct points 1 2 3 are 9 6 and 9 okay now we have to perform this operation scaling operation okay so at each of these points we will multiply the amplitude with the scaling factor which is 1 by 3 so if we multiply 1 by 3 which each of these amplitude at time 1 2 and 3 it will become 3 2 and 3 okay so the amplitude scaled signal it will be this One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so it will be three t equals to one, two t equals to two, and three again at three. This is so it is scaled down okay attenuation occurred because the scaling factor is in fractional form here it was 9 6 9 at 1 2 3 we multiplied 1 by 3 with each of these amplitude 9 by 3 is 3 6 by 3 is 2 again 9 by 3 is 3 okay so this is the amplitude scaled signal so here we have discussed about the amplitude scaling of discrete time signal so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.